Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Master of Orion. We are playing as the Illyrians. We've got our mind control ships sweeping through Saccharin space. After that, we'll be going after the cyborgs, I would say. Um, everyone's moved as far as I can tell. I mean, I should do, uh, just wait here. Now, there's still no, there's no command to just cancel a move. All right, I can tell this guy, this guy to, like, stop or guard or sleep or something. But, like... I want to group these guys up a little bit here. Seems to me a little bit annoying. I mean, maybe that's not you. Maybe that's still someone else going that way. I don't know. Let me just... There. No, it was that. That is so weird. Like, why can't I... I can guard. And then, I guess, unguard. I guess that would be the way to do it. Mm. It's weird that there's not just a stop command. God, these Sakran planets are so bad. They're just miserable. I and mean, this one's, like, at least bigger, but it's still poor. These are all, like, tiny, barren, poor. Like, who settles these places? I mean, I guess the Sakras, you're a little happier to settle everywhere on the basis that you get extra food. Oh, Astro University, quite good. Plus two research per cell. You have to find some good places to build that. Um, and then, uh... Yeah, this is not actually a for the really big stuff. And I just get some space physics. We'll get some phaser tech or something like that. That's fine. Choose production. Your pollution is going down. Excellent. You've probably... You may have just finished a ship, too. You don't have Robo Miner here. Crazy. Uh, size 13. Oh, you're actually over full right now. So, if I just told you to be production focused. Yeah, there we go. Um, I... Oof. I mean, you're not poor, you're not rich. We don't. We only have like one or two rich planets. Probably this will continue to be a production center. I, I don't know, we might still build a, uh, an Astro University though, since we've got some tech. Clearly we're gonna get a Robo Miner down. Um, and we should probably get orbital batteries for, for defense. We may end up with an Astro University here. I'm not sure. Choose production. Over here, another tiny barren poor. Well, at least you're not ultra poor. There's like the one thing going on. It's interesting that you're like production focused, but okay, there we go. You're stagnant as is. Can I get you to grow? 44 turns. No, just be production focused. I guess that's going to be fine. Um, like I don't know what to do with you. These things that generate flat science are pretty good. You're almost done building this. I guess finish it. You're not going to give me much money, but go ahead and finish it. That's going to be okay. Um, and I guess build a token star base for defense. And then, yeah, maybe a moon laboratory. I don't know what we're going to do with you. Cucuminator. Right, you're just waiting. That's going to be fine. Um, why can't I skip your turn? Skip. Okay, just guard for now. I'm just gonna wait until there's another ship that arrives. Get the move in pairs. I was talking like, you know, we could spread out things maybe a little bit more. There's a there's a few options for that. Um, oh, there's a dude here. Don't blow that guy up. Sure. And this fleet needs orders. So yeah, you're going to be coming in that way. That's going to be fine. I can't remember. We've got one more Cucuminator being built, right? Over in Draconis? Yeah. Warning. Uh, data mining the threads found within the Comite network. Oh, well, I mean, withdraw my spies. I decline. Does that mean I got caught? Oh, it means I got caught. Uh, that's okay. We're going to... I'll train another one. I'm going to disavow this agent. Uh, you are now level 2, so I'm going to have you infiltrate the Mechlar again. And actually, you're level 2, so I'm going to have you infiltrate the Mershon, with whom I have an alliance, and then we're going to train the new one up over here. Okay, that's good. Move some ships. And see, it doesn't prompt me to do things over here, but I clearly, I want to go and blow up the space factory, and then I want to blow up the defensive thing that was being built over here. Like that. Are definitely 
you can move down there because we're grouped up a little bit. I'm just worried that, like, you know, what if we got countered by something ludicrous? Uh. Really? Should I just retreat? I wonder if there's any chance of me retreating. See what I'm talking about? That's actually surprising. I will go ahead and retreat. We got obliterated. We took out two frigates. And... Ah, oh, poop. Hang on. You know what? Didn't we learn this in this game? Like... These big guns are surprisingly vulnerable. I'm gonna hope that I can get away from these guys, although I suspect that they're gonna attack me here and we're gonna lose another Cucuminator. I felt like this is a lesson we'd learned once before in this, that small ships are hard to shoot. Beam attack 118. Do my smaller ones have any better beam attacks? No, it's all the same. We might be getting surrounded or something else. Oh, that's their, um, that's their behavior. Should we add battle scanners? What is it? An extra 30 accuracy. I'm wondering about doing that and just cutting back on the gun slightly. Um, and I'm wondering about pairing them with destroyers. Again, they might not be totally irrelevant. Um, their role is actually to, like... I don't know, I guess they can go into Blitzer, that's fine. Battle pods. Automated engines. To be faster. I guess we could have an automated repair unit in our fleet, too. Just one guy to go around repairing everyone. Um, battle scanner. And now we're out of room. So we don't have a whole lot of guns. We'd be very accurate and fast. Oh, maybe we can live without the speed. Add the IUs back in into commission just to try to speed things up. Um, could be a thing. There. Yeah, you're gonna try to move away. I think you're gonna get caught. Wow. Wait, hold on. I. How did the other one. How do we only take out one frigate before, and this one did that? Um, well, I don't know. Let's capture you, whatever. I'm very confused as to why this Cucuminator survived, where the others didn't. We even lost a commander in one of the other guys. I, okay, well, whatever. Were those the older Cucuminators, and this was the newer one? I guess with all these smaller ships, I should be running heavy armor, not the reinforced hull. I don't know. So you guys are grouped up together. Two cucumber under sevens and a five. And yeah, you're going to be coming back over here. So that, that is the their fleet. It can probably rebuild more of those inside. faster, but that's okay. More cannon miniaturization. Well, we've got phaser tech, subspace communication, gives us more command points. Um, let's take a look over here. You're just going to, you're probably going to replace these. Do an upgrade all, and just confirm that we're happy with things. Um, looks like there's a little bit of space left over here. I mean, I could... Okay, no, you know. Um, unless I put more point defense. I could start using... Um, like, heavy mount weapons, I think, for the more range and things like that. But that's going to be alright. Oh, yeah, use your phasers, that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And we did go and upgrade everyone. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. 
So these are going to be our cucumber pens. What is the will of the fiefdoms, Marshal? Uh, research more guns and things. I don't know. I'm not really going to anywhere in particular. I suppose we could consider like where I might want to beeline to. More money. Uh, plus five pop in all cities is actually very nice. And then the higher growth at the same time, you know, pair them together. Transgenetics lets us build Gaia planets. You know what? Let's go for... Let's go down this route. I don't think I need more ship stuff. I think we're going to be okay. So bigger fleet coming in here. Plus their fleet was destroyed somehow. We should be able to go and wipe the rest of their stuff. In fact, we can probably split up again. Now that we're confident that we've gone and wiped out their stuff. Next turn. I'm still going to go and build those destroyers. I think that's going to be just fine to have a few more of those in there. Threatening fleet, that's still... You have one of these, which is fine. Robominer done, you're starting to build the IUs, that's okay. This space factory, yeah, I'm just going to build the jump gate over here just to be able to get to this one little cul-de-sac relatively easy. More jump gates is always more better, I like it. You guys are being built. You're growing. Yes, okay, good. We we'll have to get a jump gate built near the front really soon too, but I think this one's yeah one turn away from being done, which is great. So right away, I'm telling, I guess you guys have already moved. Yeah, none of you guys have moves left, so that's okay. Um, I think we can just auto resolve this attack. Attack colony, mind control it. This looks like a much more sizable colony as well. Small Terran port. It's got gold. But it's not too bad. Yeah, be production focused for now. That's fine. Um, you'll probably become a tech colony. That being said, might still be worth building Robo Miners because it is quite nice and you do have a lot of stuff to build. I'm going to go Robo Miner into Star Base, Missile Base, Orbital Batteries, Deep Sea Cooling. And then we'll come back to you after that. That's going to be fine. Um, fleet needs orders over here. Yes, you finish your jump gates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over here. That's not where I'm necessarily going to build it. I think I'm going to build it, um, like, maybe here, after that military outpost gets destroyed. I can't believe we lost those ships. Kind of salty about it. My apologies, Marshal. Oh, who's starving? You're not starving. You're full. You're alright. Or maybe you were starving. Maybe a hydroponics farm got blown up here or something like that. We'll just throw it in a queue after. Um, moon Laboratory, certainly. Spaceport. I mean, all these things just give you a flat bonus. And then Hollow Simulator. We'll get that all in queue. Finish the Starbase and then do that. Yeah, you're fine right now. Production focused is good. Okay, thanks. Oops, I, is that what I wanted to do? I think so. So, over here, we've got... We've got a cruiser! And, of course, the starbase as well. I mean, we should be totally fine. Uh, let's take command and see what things look like. Where's the cruiser? Way back here. Um, ooh, proton torpedoes. Not affected by jamming or point defense systems, that's right. Graviton cannons. I mean, mostly we're winning through uh, somewhat superior production, I suppose. It's not really about tech superiority. I mean, they may not have the ability to build battleships, but I don't think that's particularly um, the, the, the winning factor here. And for all I know, they also have, like, freaking uh, phaser technology like I do, which is haven't gotten around to, like, getting any ships upgraded. Oh. Apparently the torpedoes can miss, though. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the one problem with the big ships is that small ships can go and, like, do buzz buys on them and get behind them, and then they can't really turn around. That's what the, the lighter ships are nice for, to be able to keep other lighter ships in check. All right, you have no moves left, so next turn we'll make a change. Hadar Prime is... It's actually got some production. So yes, be... Let me just reset this here. Be production focused. 
Give me Robo Miners. They'll probably be used to build ships, honestly, going forward. Um, and it looks like, oh, you must have some pollution handling tech already. It's only at minus four right now, but that's with a fair amount of production. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh yeah, there's a lot of tech potential buildings. Um, I think we're going to go Starbase, then Hollow Simulator Terraforming. That's going to be fine. We'll have to keep an eye out on your, um, your pollution as well. Okay, and again, these guys have no moves because they stack it. Yes, okay, good. This is nothing that concerns me. Achievement unlocked. Get smart. I wonder what that's for. I guess I can find out. Um, successfully gather information in five colonies via espionage. Oh, cool! Okay. Infiltration, infiltration. You're a new leader that gives me money. I'm just going to reject you. Uh, espionage. Waiting orders. Steal. Start mission. Steal. Start mission. And they're level 3 as well. That's nice. Uh, I'll go and start training another defensive agent as well, because we've got some good money. We've got a lot of pop-ups going on. That's alright. You over here, what are we going to do with you? Do I want to... I, I do want to go and clear one of these things, especially before my construction ship comes. So I'm going to pop off the Cucuminator 5. And I'm going to get you to go over there and blow that up. Then my pair of Cucuminator 7s. Uh, do we go straight for the capital? Yeah, you know what? Head to the capital. It's going to be fine. Move all these ships. Choose some research. Uh, we need a lot of food. Some places do do a lot of food, but subterranean farms seem a little bit more balanced. I don't know. We'll take that. I don't think it really matters, and we've still got things queued up, so that's fine. I'm going to get Gaia transformation soon. You're done. I mean, we're going to put your production focus here. You're... What are we killing it on food? Oh, but you're not full yet. Yeah, okay. So that's reasonable. Um, you are ultra rich, so we want to keep piling on more production. More production. More production of ships. I mean, we kind of want deep sea cooling everywhere. Because it's just the flat research bonus. Um, and, oh, you actually have someone who is on strike, so... Let's go. Robo Miner first, then Hollow Simulator, and then the Ship Boosters. And you know what? I will go ahead and put in... Nah. We'll just wait. Oh, you got recycling. You're actually already making pollution, so... Um, I think I will go ahead and put in a Recyclotron in the queue, then. Because that should sink all pollution forever. And you're going to make more pollution with the Robo Miners, because pollution is, like based on how much production you're producing. I don't know what the formula is. It should be something like that. Alright, move some ships. Choose some production. You are now growing. Yeah, so... Yeah, be production-minded. You're still going to grow very slowly because of the... Um, the hydroponics. It's only plus one food from that. And higher maintenance than the biospheres. Although, I guess the idea is you can keep stacking them on. For more and more flat food. These terrible... Barren planets here. Although, you can be uh, terraformed. I think I'm going to build Robo Miners because there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to build here in the long run. We're going to do this. Um, we'll get some basic food going on. Actually, I won't get fungal forms because we will terraform you. Like that. I realize we don't have any real defenses here, but we'll see if we can't turn this into a useful planet in the long run. It's unlikely, but we'll try. So I'm going to be moving my fleets up this way. Yay, more colonizing! Of course, they colonize shit planets. So just, it actually, at a certain point, it means I'm just going to be having to work harder to mind control all of their stuff. So you're slowly moving in here, which is fine and good. Now you actually reach this law. So we'll attack. And yeah, we'll just auto-resolve that. That should be pretty straightforward. Attack colony, mind control their capital. Blam. What is that? Oh, they're starving. Well, not for long. 
And I'll just reset this. There we go. You're in full population, just producing one in excess, which is totally groovy. Medium swamp abundant. Yeah, we'll get some uh, robo miners. Um, Hollow simulator, because you do have one person. It's only one, though. We may not have to rush that. Get the star base, get the missile base, get the orbital batteries. Oh no, you've got two people. Oh, three! Yeah, okay, so an early hollow simulator will actually be handy. We'll do that, the space defenses, then probably work on some more terraforming and things over here. It's actually going to be a great planet for us. So, we've only got one Sakran planet left, so we'll go and do that. I assume it dismantles all their defenses at that point. But, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and just like blow up this outpost here. Because this guy is definitely going to be going over there. Sooner rather than later, and I want to make sure there's no weird timing issues. fighting over here. Oh! And Terrans. So. One by one. The cutscenes are no longer broken! Of treacherous Orion so there is wow, you are really creepy looking. Holy might. crap! Your end is nigh. I wonder why that the Logitech software they must be trying to like play an animation on the keyboard or the integrated mobile service or something like that, and it was glitching out. Well, there we go. We have that working. So you're coming over here. What you packing? Uh, Shaitan Destroyers, 200 strength, 4,000 defense. Well, I'm not sticking around here with my fleet. You can go and blow up Slaw. I guess we'll just have to put up with it. It's not my planet anymore. Well, it is my planet now, but it's not like, I'm not invested in it. This Cucuminator, um, yeah, I don't think we've got anything for you to do. So that's fine. We'll just leave you parked there. So, yeah, just skip a turn. I, mean, I suppose I could be buying Starbase or something around Slaw, but I think we're just going to let it be. Another Ayu. Check them over there. At least you can take some shortcut through the jump points. We don't have them all down here but yet, but... Now, do I want to add more defense over here? When I declare war against the um, the Mechlar, I wonder if I want to, like, have some people waiting by this outpost. Because the outpost is not very strong. If they just come in here, I got some static defenses, but not too many. I don't know, but then they have to build a bunch of transports. They do have a good number of transports, but it will take them a while to get things going. You build that. And, yeah, just guard here. What is that? Is that Swamp? Gaian Planet. Oh, wow. Little one. Oh, failed to steal. So, again, I'll just disavow you. It's fine. All right. I don't know if I'll bother with too much spying. It seems more tedious than, in, than important right now. So, you are a tech-oriented planet because you are poor. Which means we need to make sure to get an advanced data center and Astro University up here. Probably wouldn't hurt to get Robo Miners either. And we do have Gaia Transformation unlocked. Tell you what, start with the Robo Miners. I'm going to switch you over to Production Focused for now. We'll build up here a little bit more quickly. Get the, the tech buildings up and running. That's fine. And probably follow up with uh, Gaia Transformation as well. Okay. It's hurting our tech a little bit, but that's fine right now. Artificial life coming in, which is going to give us 25% greater growth. Noel is being bombarded here. And uh, 34 biological bombs. I don't think he's even going to wipe out the population here. Zakans are tough. Let your defeat be a portent for all. None shall survive the return of the Antares. Dude, I didn't even care about those people. I just let you do that G because it was going to be science. Galactic the the Sakran uh, capital, the old Sakran capital, After was um, was sacrificed to to give us some information. The information is your bombardment sucks. So there you go. Space factory done. So we got another jump kit over there, which is lovely. Um, we are going to build one over here as well, and that blockade will be lifted really soon. And my fleet is here and ready to go, so please do that before they build more stuff. 
Um, wow, that's a lot of colony ships. So I'm just gonna all resolve this. It's gonna be fine. Boom, boom. That colony, mind control, and that should be it. Oh, I look so sad. Times. Who'll mark the sacra? Who'll keep us membered? Keep the story straight. All right. And yeah, it got rid of your static defenses. Lovely. All right. Um. Yes, be production focused. And tiny Terran rich planet. Nice. Okay, you definitely get more production. You're full on your size right now. So we will follow that up with the Gaia transformation. For sure over here. And then after that, some hollow simulators. Especially as you grow, so you're not going to be quite as miserable. Um, do we want to change the production calendar over here? Robo miners into hollow simulators still seems fine. Right, because they don't actually blow up any buildings doing that. So, no, we're going to be good. All right. Da 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 da. Jump gates done. Excellent. Um, and we're going to go and assemble our fleet. Uh. Hmm. I suppose, yeah, if we start here, we could go straight for Mechlon and take out their capital the soonest. I think this is going to be a bloody war. There's going to be losses on both sides, but we're going to take things a lot faster. Thanks to the mind control thing. Achievement unlocked. This ain't cheap. What is that? Have a fleet that costs more than 30 command points. Oh, well, okay. Doesn't seem that extraordinary, but again, um, I don't think I played... When I was playing before, they didn't have achievements yet. Robo miners, which we didn't have for all this construction, which is a little poopy. Um, we don't need hollow simulators here. A Gaian transformation at a homeworld sounds really, really, really good. But do we want to prioritize that over just building more ships? We don't even have orbital batteries over here either. What if the Antarans come to our homeworld? Well, we could just rush by some stuff. Yeah, just start... Go Robo Miners into another Cucumbinator. And we've got enough money, we're actually going to be able to upgrade some stuff too, which is going to be nice. Go ahead and get your Robo Miners, that's going to be fine. Um, tiny Tundra Ultra Poor. Wow. Um, and no food right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go subterranean farms into terraforming. It's still tiny, but that'll give us something. A Yuri. I mean, a couple of destroyers here aren't going to do much, so no, we'll just get you to group up over here. That's going to be okay. Uh, we did recruit a spy. Yeah, we'll just mostly use the defensive spies. Go over there. And Cucumbinator X. Jump in over there. So yeah, we'll get everyone over here and we'll see how many things we can upgrade. Noel's being bombarded some more. I wonder if they even have transports over there. Like, they might just be trying to weaken some stuff, or they might not have transports, so they're just doing what they're doing. Deep Sea Cooling finished over here. Alright, this is the place that got a little bit poorer, which sort of sucks. Cross Processing. Plus two flat production. Yeah. Sure, we'll do that. Um, let me actually swing over to B production. Uh, no, never mind. Yeah, something like that. Um, we could also free up quite a bit of farming, actually, here with the subterranean farms, which seems like a good idea. Followed by Astra University. Followed by Gaia Transformation. Okay, that's fine. You are going to guard. Like building one ship at a time here. I mean, doesn't have useful technology. Okay. Ooh, we definitely want to level you up. Now, I wonder if I should go and take on the guard. He's not that tough. We can get there relatively quickly because we can jump gate across to here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna consider doing something like that once we get our fleet assembled. Your pollution is going down, which is good. Slowly. You're getting mine. Oh no, no, it's going up. This is the food loss, right? Um, 
I guess we're gonna need some pollution handler first. Do that. Finish. Uh, no, don't even finish the spaceport. Just get that going on. That's gonna be okay. That leader is about to go, which is okay. Five turns. I really don't care about, like, battles that other people are having right now. I mean, I like being able to see everything, but it might be nice to have the, um, the zoom turned off for events like this. There's probably an option for that, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I don't need to know about the space monsters all the time, either. You guys are all piling up over here, which is good. Next turn. Boom, 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 boom. Is Noel still up? Yep. Oh, but no one's actually uh, bombarding it anymore. Okay. That's been captured. Orbital batteries are over here. Production is there. You've actually got a little bit of whining going on. Uh, pollution is fine, right? Yes. And still on the negative side, which is good. We'll get an extra hollow simulator. You're having to spend three farmers. We could probably clear one of you up with the um, uh, with the subterranean farms, especially if we go to a Gaia transformation. Gaia transformation, though, I think will also be more food. You know what? We don't need to invest in stuff like that. The game's getting near the end, so we'll just keep building more ships right now, and that's going to be sufficient. I think we're overthinking some of this long-term stuff. We're going to wrap it up surprisingly quick. Although, speaking of wrapping things up, we're going to do that to this episode. Thank you very much for watching another one. I think I'm very excited to bring the war to the Mechlar. This is going to be a slightly more significant battle, though. You know, we can't just pretend that it's going to be a cakewalk like the Sakura, and the Sakura even destroyed some stuff, though. Um... Yeah, I don't care about bio terminators. We're going to take universal antidote because we are nice people. We're nice war monsters. Review the technology tree because the other thing I wanted was... You know what? Something else over here? Advanced city plan. There we go. Much bigger places. Uh, unlock Gaia for information. I, I know, it's been unlocked for a little while, hasn't it? Or maybe this was the first turn and I just kept seeing it everywhere. Um, Production-focused, ultra-rich planet. Yeah. Uh, pollution is increasing here, which is not what we're looking for. So, um, now this, this doesn't generate pollution itself, but the planet, like, right now will still have some. Um, wow, we need more, like, pollution handling stuff overall. A little toxic processor. And you know what? You'll follow up with the guy on transformation. It's fine. All right, so we're going to put a wrap up in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.